learn about our English courses for economists by visiting our website, EnglishForEconomists.com. Hello, and welcome to podcast number 11. I am Alan Robert and I am your host at English for Economists, the English podcast lessons for non-native speakers of English who need to talk about the economy. Our topic today, superintendencies. Like always, let's start with some vocabulary. First word, supervision. Supervision is the act of supervising something or somebody. Superintend. Be responsible for the management or arrangement of an activity or organization. Superintend. Related verbs that are similar in meaning, although perhaps not exact in meaning to superintend, are supervise, oversee, manage, watch, administer, direct, govern, head, and run. So, superintend. It's a little more of a formal feeling to that word, my friends. Superintendent. Well, that's the person who manages or superintends an organization or activity. Superintendency. That's the position or work of a superintendent. Now, I'd like to give you an example of a superintendency. Okay, this is just superintendencies take all different shapes and forms depending on the country and depending on what they're overseeing. But in this case, I will just tell you a generic superintendency and this will be for the securities market. So the superintendency of the securities market is a specialized technical body attached to the Ministry of Economy and Finance. Its purpose is to ensure the protection of investors and the efficiency and transparency of the markets under its supervision. Even though it is attached to a ministry, it has administrative, economic, technical, and budgetary autonomy. The superintendency of securities markets has various responsibilities. It is responsible for establishing the legal norms that regulate the stock market. So in other words, helps create the laws, establish the legal norms that regulate the stock market, and it supervises compliance with the legislation. So it oversees to ensure that actors follow the rules, that they comply with the legislation. The superintendency of securities markets is also responsible for supervising compliance with international auditing. Okay, so international auditing has a standard. The superintendency oversees to ensure that that standard is being respected. Now, a superintendency of securities markets is just one of many types of superintendencies that exist today. Other common superintendencies might supervise, for example, pension funds, insurance companies, or service utilities like electricity or telecommunications. Superintendencies can fulfill many roles, and thanks to them, economies generally work better. Okay, let's hear the vocabulary one last time. Supervision. Supervision is the act of supervising something or somebody. Superintend. To be responsible for the management or arrangement of an activity or organization. Related verbs are supervise, oversee, conduct, manage, watch, administer, direct, govern, head, and run. Superintendent. Well, that's the person who manages or superintends an organization or activity. Superintendency. That's the position or work of a superintendent. So, as you can see, friends, they're all very related. Superintend, superintendent, superintendency. And it all has to do with supervision. Well, that's all for today. 
Remember this podcast is new. It's an experiment. So please share it with your friends and colleagues and let me know if you like what we're doing here. Uh, I'm very, very open to your ideas and suggestions. Write to me at alan at englishforeconomists.com. I would very much enjoy hearing from you to know that I'm not just speaking into empty space. Get in touch with me. I'd love to hear from you and to hear what it's like being an economist in your country. Until next time, this is Alan Robert at English for Economists, and I'm wishing you a fantastic day. Take care.